Good morning, everybody. We are getting ready to go to the gym, and I'm not the girly that likes to wear a full face of makeup to the gym, but I do like to put on a little something for the gym. So I'm gonna go over with you all my no makeup makeup look. So if you don't have yourself a makeup headband, this is the first thing you're going to do because I think this is the cutest thing ever. You'll be hydrating our skin and priming with the Refi Glow and Sculpt Face Primer. I literally just got this yesterday because it's been sold out and I finally restocked it. So we finally get to use it and I'm so stinking excited about this. So we are just priming the face. I do love a glowy, dewy look. My go-to, my favorite thing to use is the Nice and I Do Drops by Glow Recipe. So I always just go in as well with these guys. All right, so we are all primed up here. Then we are going to wet the Beauty Blender. These little towelettes I got, they're called the Clean Skin Club and I use these every day to wash my face. Like after I don't use a towel because I just don't want to put like dirty bacteria back on my skin. We are gonna go in with the Hourglass Concealer. This is my all-time fave concealer. It is in the color Silk. And we are literally just going to do the under eye, side the eye, your T-zone, and then I just like do my chin. And then if I have like any other little blemishes, like this little guy decide to show up, we put it over that. And from here, you're going to do like an upward dragging padding motion just to like sculpt the under eyes and just dab that all in. I just got the LYS contour stick, but I'm not going to use this baby for my gym makeup look. Um, but I just want to show how stinking pretty this thing is. I'm so excited to try this for work. So I'm actually gonna go in with the Charlotte Tilbury wand and we're just going to do a couple little dots just on, we're just gonna contour our cheeks, the forehead, I do my nose, the bridge of my nose, and then the chin. So we're gonna go back in with our beauty blender and we're just gonna dab it all up. I was told doing dabbing upward motions really help sculpt and lift the face. That's why I always say dab up. And honestly, I just find that I like that look a lot better too. The nose, I go up under my eyebrows as well. And then along your jawline. I have the iconic London blush. This is the rose shade. Then I'm just going to put some blush, liquid blush, on my cheeks just over top. And then on my nose. My favorite liquid highlight is the Rare Beauty. I have the shade of Mesmerize. We're gonna go in and just make everything nice and glowy. And we are just doing dabby motions again. I like to do my nose and again on my forehead and the chin just to highlight those top points. I just take this CoverGirl Easy Breezy Brow. This is just from Shoppers. And I pull up my eyebrows. Try to get that fluffier look. I take the NYX the Dewy Finish State and we're just going to spray everything down to hold it. Then I take my beauty blender and just dab, press it all in. And I just curl my lashes. I don't put anything on them, but I do go in and I just, I do curl them. I do already have freckles, but I do love the freckle look. Um, I'm not out in the sun enough to bring the rest of my freckles out. So we're just gonna add a couple freckles as well. I just use the Freck OG, the original Freck um, liquid. And I kind of just dab them everywhere. They don't need to be symmetrical because freckles 
All right, and I take my beauty blender and I just, I just dab them down just to make them not as aggressive. And there we go. Here is the finished no makeup makeup look for the gem. Okay, bye.